Hi everyone. Is there any therapeutic aspect of beers? Apparently there is. And I will tell you that from the perspective of someone who is non-drinker. So I do not drink beers, but I was invited for a tasting of beers. And during the Barcelona Beer Festival, I tried sample something like around 70 beers and it is possible i also had no idea without getting drunk uh, if you tested tested a little bit of every beer when you have long hours and you also make notes like me you can come to very interesting ideas and uh, take it from someone who is non-drinker and has over maybe 20 years already with paranormal world linking it with psychological world and assisting people in changing their life through clearing ancestors tree and tarot readings and i'm an author of over 10 books about paranormal so i invite you also to read my oracle series how dreams are related to our reality and how we can influence our reality by lucid dreaming so conscious dreaming why being awake or directly in the dream uh, so i am completely from a different world as you see however i had amazing opportunity this time to taste those beers and I can tell you that I was surprised myself that every beer had this amazing quality that was showing adding some sort of inner power to the people so now I do understand people who drink beer and like beer and uh, maybe pick it up intuitively please let me know if you are a beer uh, drinker you love to drink beer uh, let me know what qualities you experience what's your favorite beer and what are the qualities behind that beer because I'm sure you uh, you experience that uh, but for me it was a first time thing and I can tell you this that certain beers were destined to give people some sort of stability internal power uh, something that they will make them feel good within a community of people so someone who is maybe uh, like to spend time alone and uh, does not know how to be more social just by drinking that beer with the certain um, qualities of that can just get have a little bit more easiness into talking conversing with other people making friends so of course the most the longest queue was to the polish beer uh, apparently and with my friend i was um uh, i was there uh we started to queue with a one beer and by the time we finished we uh we had uh, another one so the queue was so so long that basically you could stand for half an hour in one queue to the Polish beer other beers did not have that long queue but Polish beer did not win any reward I think they should but not this time apparently not uh, so for example I made a little bit of notes if you like to check it out for yourself and let me know maybe if you do agree with that. There was this American IPA beer that it was giving some sort of feeling of female family like so it's more designed for women than for male and it's interesting that sometimes I did not see the name of the beer but after tasting it I felt was it for a man or for a woman and what it can give what kind of qualities so it's interesting enough that that works like essential oils for many people and get directly into the quality of that helps people uh, directly something they do on therapy to go in a certain role and just for the purpose of this video I am not encouraging to drinking I hope this is clear from the start uh, but of course if you do have a company I can also do that for you just let me know and do not send me a lot of beers I am really not a dr not a beer drinker but of course I can do the tasting and I can let you know 
because some of the beers the first day had enormously well quality the qualities were so strong so vivid just by one sip or two you could feel this more dignity in your life or being more precise or concentrated it, it was amazing but maybe because people relax more than the second day and the third day um, there's some of the beers I had a feeling they were rushed the qualities were not uh, quietly set, not quietly integrated with the idea of a certain beer. I'm not going to tell you which ones were that, that I'm going to leave for the producers of uh, those beers. Uh, but I could notice the difference. Uh, so um, starting uh, with American and English beer, so one was given this royal feeling and the other one American that was close by so usually those beer, beers were connected with the opposite or similar qualities and that was really nice because this was from one company and done with a different intention was instantly giving a different feeling that if you know how to use it in your life you have sort of a you know quite good therapy I would say uh, so the American beer was more relaxed but also in an energy I felt it like more horizontal so something that is more down to earth why that the royal one the English one was being more precise in life but also having a sense of dignity that was pretty interesting that I felt that straight away there was this Polish beer and Neputen IPA uh, designed for parties and making good friends connections but not very deep but another one Polish beer was more designed for a secret talking opening up a little bit more with a chosen friends so it's pretty interesting because if you do go uh, to meet people in a certain social environment uh, and if it's a paid event or a marketing event please notice and let me know what kind of beer they are offering there and what it calls what kind of qualities because some of them are or were also designed for a better negotiation for better getting to know someone for someone giving you your secrets pretty amazing there was this Irish beer and right after trying it out you can feel like some uh, sense of power also strength very male like uh, but some of them also were more female like you you could feel this this charm something light in the air more uh, freedom sort of a freedom but in a very nice kind way so these were the female uh, female beers there was a beer insomnia with honey and I can tell you this, that maybe it works for some people, but when I uh, tasted it, I could feel like it was clouding the mind. It wasn't really putting someone to sleep, like, you know, the name insomnia, you would think. No, it was more clouding the mind, like maybe making someone a little bit more dizzy. But at the same time, the beer that had more percentage of alcohol uh, was giving more sense of stability which is pretty amazing because you can get drunk very quickly still that quality was stability uh, there was some American amber beer uh, and you could feel because probably there was this caramel vibe their richness and it was very in a way juicy like giving you this power of richness in America something something that can really delude you a little bit but if you know if you working with affirmation of richness that will be your beer if you are a drinker of course uh hop it it was another one that was giving that uh stability uh some of the beers that were more for women was um uh, barcelona beer english one jane and pinky pig and that was having this very nice female vibe and it was pretty good. The, the, those I could not connect with and I could not feel the qualities were acid beers. And the acid was something I could not take it. Uh, so I also could not really connect uh, to the qualities of them. But there was a lot of also American, not only Polish beers that were making people more talkative. 
They were also designed for making like more connections, like family, you know, and staying together more, creating community. Uh, negotiations. Um, some of the peop- uh, some of the beers were giving this vibe of like a fresh cucumber, or uh, something like a spicy life. Like you can get the uh, the just an idea behind that. There was an interesting beer called Lucifer, and I was very curious what kind of light that will be, knowing knowing the Lucifer symbolism of it but it took me into darkness loneliness but still it had some deepness it's some dark deepness it's probably for those people who would like to be left alone and just do their own thing and also have this maybe deep maybe a little bit sad philosophy of life um there was an interesting sweet bitter sense of life and that was Trinidad American Ipa beer. Uh, there was a lot of fruity beer, which were nice in the taste, uh, but there were some sort of, some of them, they were dispersing the energy. So it's perfect for having party, uh, for just feeling good. Uh, there was some Polish beer, Phantasomania, and you could feel straight away inspiration. It was well prepared. You could sense the qualities of it. Some of them were just good, just uh, just created with some uh, fruits, uh, mocha. Uh, so you, you're you not really sensing the quality, something deep behind it, something healing, but you just feel good drinking it because it's more like a juice. But of course, you have to be careful about the percentage of the alcohol in it. Some of them were confusing. In a sense, it was uh, called the wolf, but when you drink it, you could experience more like a forest, feet, being stable on your own ground in life. Um, so um, so those kind of things. Um, and not just to tell you the most interesting ones, not taking you for all the 70 beers because it's, it's far too much. Uh, some of them were like this freshness, uh, but there was also one one beer i would not tell you which one but it felt like like really bad fish it was the worst beer i ever tasted in my life in that free those three days uh so basically all in all all those beers have the amazing essence qualities that if you drink it a little bit you can directly connect yourself with the qualities you need or you would like to connect with in your life because you need to do something so whether you need to negotiate with someone or have a better connection a family like or a friends like there are certain beers designed for that if you do are beer lover and you drink it please let me know what is your experience what is your favorite beer how you use it so when you meet with your friends um what is the best one when you meet for i don't know deep conversation or um solving some life situations which one is that for you because i never in my life imagined that it could have such a uh, such a great impact on human psyche it can be therapeutic And just like everything, like every substance, if it's not abused, it can be very, very healing if you know how to use it and you do it consciously. Okay, so let me know. I'm curious what you are going to write about it. What are your impressions, experiences? And of course, if you like to connect with me, the best is to write me email for the session, for the tarot session, for the Stardust uh, session when we... Uh, do create, recreate, co-create a different reality. We start very soon, so I visit you to read more on my website, joannapilatovic.com. And I also invite you to my store, so these paintings in a digital art form are already in my store. And you can go there and get your digital art that uh, also connecting with Feng Shui and the right direction for you in your house. And putting the right intention, that's how they are designed, uh, hopefully can bring you and allow you also to bring what you really want uh, with cooperating with the universe. 
And of course, to the books, I invite you to my Amazon, to my account on Amazon, but also you can get ebook from my directly from my website. So this is it for today. Have a lovely day out there and looking forward to hearing from you, reading from you. Bye bye.